Hello everyone, this is Margie from Digi Stamps for Joy and today I want to show you how to use one of our Digi Stamps to make a beautiful pinwheel flower. Now I'm going to show you what I made first. That's one of them. That's another one. And I've made some small ones as well. The small ones are super for on cards and the big ones are lovely for on gift bags or little handbags that you make out of paper. So of course, obviously what the first thing you need to do is you need to go to digistampsforjoy.co.za slash eshop and download the freebie for the pinwheel flower. And it's basically just a square box, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Print it out onto double-sided card like I've done here. And you're going to need the double-sided card because when you fold the corner over, you see the back of the card. So I've already done one on a different piece of card. And I've already cut it. I've cut off the black lines on the outside. And then if you'll see, there's a line running from the corner to just before the middle. You need to cut along there. Don't cut all the way through. Cut along there from each corner to the end of the line. And you'll end up with something like this. The following thing you'll need to do, and I use a little mouse pad for that, is you'll need to take an awl and you'll need to punch a hole in each of the black dots on this template, including in the middle. And then because I don't want the paper to tear when I put the legs of the brad through, I like to just make it a little bit thicker, the hole a bit bigger, should I say like that, so that the legs of the braid can go through easily. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a punch. I use this little flower punch, it's uh, 25 mil in diameter, and you're going to punch yourself out a flower of the spare piece of paper, either that side or this side, depending on which side you want on top. And I've actually done it using that side, and I've glittered it up already and it's dried so I'm not going to be sticking to it so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this as well you need to then punch a hole in the middle of the flower as well because your brand is going to go through that. what you can also do is you can chalk the edges of your card that you've cut already chalk them just so that the edges stand out nicely and don't forget to chalk on the inside of each little cut as well. And I've actually done this whole card already, so I'm not going to do any further. What you're going to do now is take your brad. I've got a little glittered gold brad here. Push it through the center of the flower, first of all. And then you're going to fold each of the corners, decide which one which way you want it. Do you want the flower to look like that? Or do you want the flower to look like that? So I'm going to do it this way with that on the inside. What you do is you bring each of the corners down, put the legs of the brand through, push it through, and bring the next one under as well and push the legs through the hole and the third one and under and the last one that's a tricky one it's hard to see in that little corner okay I've got all four in but now because you want it to lie flat, you're going to have to push the legs of the brad through that hole at the bottom. So I'm just going to do that quickly. I need to see through there. There we are. Push it through. Open up the legs of the brad. And there you have your flower. Very easy. Head on over to digistampsforjoy.co.za slash eshop. And go and look in the freebie section and you'll see the template there. 
and have fun. <laughs>